Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. Sam Deganji, your host. Friends, let me ask you a question. I, I heard something on, um, I think it was Hannity's show. It was. He was talking to uh, Bill O'Reilly. <clears throat> Whether or not you like Bill O'Reilly, I've always found him to be intelligent myself. But even if you don't like him, the, the takeaway from this is he is a very astute, historian. He knows a lot about history. He's written books on history. He is an established, established historian. Hannity had opined that now that the Taliban has people behind enemy lines, and we mentioned this yesterday on the show, there was a good chance that we're going to start seeing torture videos, torture porn, the internet uh, will be a catalyst for the Taliban to recruit other um, extremists from Islam into what they're doing. And they're going, you know, to do it to show muscle and do it specifically just to be cruel and mean, if you want the truth. And um, it was said that they're going to, you know, use the brutality to the max. Pardon me, Bill O'Reilly said the opposite. He said that in his opinion, what we're going to see is not the outright torture and abuse from the Taliban towards U.S. citizens and others um, affiliated with America, translators, uh, those who helped us, dual citizenship, that kind of thing. They're probably not going to go after massive images of abuse. I mean, if they catch them when it's no, there's no cameras around, all bets are off. But as far as broadcasting it like they did the Daniel Pearl slaughter, he doesn't think that's going to happen. And the reason for that, he said, is that that would guarantee a Biden response, a heavy, heavy bombing. There would be no, there would be no other outcome. There wouldn't be any anything else that Biden could do. So to have that rained down upon them probably would not be the best idea ever given. So he had said that he doesn't see that happening. What he thinks is going to happen is good old payola. Oh yeah, the dollar, the root of all evil, the Taliban is very likely going to say, well, you know, we've got these people and we'll get them to you, you know, if you do a few things for us. You scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. And a good point was made that the media being so leftist and Marxist, they will cover for Joe Biden and they will call this aid. Well, you know, we did pull out of the country. You can hear the, you can hear the music swelling in the background. We did pull out of the country. So what we're going to do is we're simply giving aid to make sure that all the people, that the Republicans and everyone, like, you know, was complaining about everybody at Fox News, everybody here, there, and everywhere. We're going to make sure that those people have food on their plate. And we're going to give billions of dollars in aid. It's not going to be seen as we are paying a ransom to get our people back. Let me ask you a question. Two questions. And then I, I need comments on this. Two questions, please. First of all, what happens after they get the money? I mean, it's very unlikely that there's not going to at least be a handful of people who they can humiliate, brutalize, kill, maim, whatever. So let's say we pay them $50 billion and we get... 99% of the people there back because we paid terrorists to do it. Okay. Then what's their incentive to not stop butchering people after that? Because they haven't kept any promise so far. That is question number one. Second question. If Joe Biden has had this much time to think up ways to get the people remaining there out. 
then why is all of this being put together at the last minute? I guess a better way to put it is the first question would be, why would they trust them again with the aid? Does that make any sense? Let me know also, who do you think is right? Do you think there's going to be ransoms right away? Do you think there's going to be a payment to get the people back? Or do you think it's going to be payment to get the people back and then some kind of a slaughter or display of power, or a uh, grotesque and evil victory lap from those who would have then sapped up billions of dollars in money that you and I, you listening to this, will have paid them? Let me know what you think, guys. Good night. God bless. Get a hold of me at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. Please hit share. Please hit subscribe. And opera, opera news, uh, push opera news, please.